All right, here we're going to take a look at this Cub Cadet LTX 1045. We're going to check this out, see if this is something I want to fix or if I'm just going to send it on its merry way. I picked this up yesterday from a local mower shop. Their customer decided not to fix it. I don't really know what's wrong with it. It has the famous Kohler Courage engine in it. Doesn't look like it's cracked yet, but we're going to see what happens. I put a battery in it. I didn't try to start it yet, so we're going to watch and see what, what's going on here. Right now, nothing's happening. Not even a, an hour meter's coming on. The fuse is probably in the back. Oh, that's connected there. found the fuse. They make it so you can't reach it. Now to get it back in there. Might have to plug the seat in. I do have it unplugged and it has four wires going to it. It's acting like there's no battery in it. It's acting like there's no battery, like a wire's disconnected someplace. Maybe I'll take another look at that. Make sure the key is plugged in. The ignition switch is actually plugged in. Uh, it's buried back there behind the gas tank. It is plugged in. So that's good, otherwise I have to take the gas tank out. Alright, well the solenoid's going to have to come out. So I can disconnect the battery wire from it. the wire that goes to the fuse connector from the uh, solenoid where the battery cable goes to that wire looks like it's cut but it's a little green it's got a little corrosion color to it so it may have corroded away right where it connects onto the solenoid at the battery cable and that would definitely give us no power up to the key because that's what would take the 12 volts up to the key to, to energize everything so I have to get a couple other wrenches here, pull the solenoid out, and see just what happened here. This may be fixable. So down in here, this here's the fuse. I took that out before I took anything apart. The fuse was still good. This wasn't getting any power up to the key. No battery indicator or no... Uh, hour meter anything now this this fuse was was a facing the other way it was on the bottom and I looked and looked and I saw this wire here you can see a little green color in there that wire needs to get hooked up to this side right here of the solenoid this is the battery cable 
this is the one going up to the starter this one up here so that wire needs to go into here and I look down this way and you can see some green in there and you can see some corrosion up here around the top of the battery now the way it was this cable was at the front and it looks clean up here Let's see if we can find the negative one even the negative one looks all right so I'm suspecting that that battery was leaking and somehow got down here there's a solenoid mouse right back here you know right behind the underneath of the battery but somehow that got corrosion down there so I'm gonna have to take this nut off and see what this looks like because this this could be bad in here too that it may not carry enough current but this little guy here when I don't know if that's a factory tape job on here for this fuse holder but that that wire is barely long enough to make it it just makes it to there so if there's any pressure on that if it if it gets a little weak it's going to pull right out but so we're going to take that nut off there see what this cable looks like put a connector on the end of that and then we should be getting some power up and see what is really going on with this So let's cut this insulation off and I bet we're going to see the other end of that red wire in here. Wow, look at all that corrosion. With all this corrosion, this was going to be hard to crank over because it was not going to get enough current from the rear of the tractor all the way up to the starter. Well, I'm not really seeing the other end of that wire, but it could have been right crimped in there. You know, when this was made, it would have, this cable would have probably came with that wire attached onto it already. So that when they put it on the tractor, it's, it's already right there, part of the harness. Yeah, there is a little bit of corrosion up here. It's not so much there but in inside here but somehow somehow we got a lot of corrosion down at this end and that's that's a little hard to figure out for me anyway so I'm gonna cut this off put another end on here I'll put a little extra piece of wire to uh, connect it to that fuse holder then we should have some power So here's a quickie tool review. I bought this crimper, this terminal crimper online last year for just doing this kind of thing right here. Where you have a battery cable and you need to put a new end on it because of corrosion. So I have it set at 16 for this terminal. See what that looks like. It crimped it pretty good, but it needs to be more, so I'm going to have to go down to number 10. Hopefully this works at all. So we'll go down to 10 and crimp it again. Well, that's on there a lot better now. And we still have some wire past where the crimp is at, so that should help keep it tight. So I think we're on there. And I put a little extra wire on there to go to the fuse. So now I just got to strip the wire coming from the fuse, put it in there and crimp it. 
and should be ready to go. All right, round two. Well, we got something going on here. It says 12 volts, 455 hours. And there's a little flash of the battery light. Well, it cranks over. The engine doesn't sound quite like it should, though. Plug wires hooked up. Well, the solenoid is clicking, so it's probably working because I can feel it clicking. So that's probably not keeping it from running. it don't sound too bad but it don't want to run through the carburetor probably just needs a carburetor cleaning or drain the old fuel out which is what I tried to do by making it run sometimes you can get it to suck the gas the, the bad gas through and, and then it'll stay running I've done that before but this seems like it needs a little bit of carburetor attention. The engine didn't sound too bad though when it was running. So, I would say it needs a carburetor cleaning. We know it runs. I'm not gonna bother trying everything else because obviously they stopped using it because the carburetor was not functioning correctly. So now I got to decide what I want to do with this. I have someone in mind already, so maybe this will be the last time we see this. Not sure yet. But if I keep it, there will definitely be some more videos on cleaning the carburetor and all that stuff. Like and subscribe.